So let's say you wanted to make a animation where your character walks in circles then you try animating your sculpture to four points like this and then when you actually play it you notice that it doesn't make a perfect circle although there are only four points it just describes this weird shape and it stops in between uh, the extremities of your circle and so how do you make an animation where your character kind of walks lost in thought in a circle or your character is panicking running in circles like that I'm gonna show you so what you will need is a shape like this it's basically a cylinder that I made very big and then just uh, squashed it to this kind of shape next you will need a fleck in paint mode you just go to paint mode you select a fleck like this um, I like the rough wax texture and then I use a color that you can see let's just take red let's take a good shade of red let's paint downwards there you go oh yeah of course just to make sure so it's not tilted or anything you have to do this uh, that, that's basically the grid and that it keeps everything upright so you do this Ta -da -da. there you go that's your fleck and then you will need a character that will walk around in circles for that I will just use a simple cube I make it a little bit smaller and I'll make the cube maybe purple why not like that that's nah, too much like this okay so now what you need to do is you need to combine these three things into one thing <laughs> And just enable grid and everything so it stays upright because if it doesn't stay upright and you animate it, it could be tilted uh, and you don't want that. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to insert this this flex stick into the, an extremity of uh, my, my disk. Uh, like so. Why not? And then I'm going to take my cube. And then I'm going to attach everything to each other. So I'm going to group this. And then I'm going to... Oh, that's wrong, by the way. That You need to make it stick out a little bit more. I'm going to show you in a second why. Okay, here you go. And then you take your, your fleck, your disk, you group it. And then you take your cube. You put it over the fleck so it's somewhat in the middle. You know, it doesn't have to be 100% precise, but if it is, it is better. Like so. And then you group those things as well. So, now everything is grouped. And what you do then is very easy. You just kind of hover over it. It doesn't matter if you do it from below or from above. It really doesn't. So, what you do is you take a um, timeline. You place it somewhere here, open it, uh, don't need this, and you put action recorder into the timeline. And before you start spinning anything, make sure you disable the grid and the stay upright. And so what you do then is you, you, you press your L2 and you use the right stick to spin the platform. All right. Stop recording and let's see what it does. Yeah, actually moves in circles. It depends a lot on where you start spinning your circle, meaning that if you start spinning your circle, oh, I don't know, let's let's um let's take our circle somewhere here and let's start spinning it from here. You see? So it matters actually a lot where you start spinning it. To avoid this. You could, uh, you know, take the center of the circle and place like a small sculpture in there so you have a reference point. But I just want to show you the principle behind it, not, you know, a perfect animation. So, yeah, what you do is you grab your, your, your disc and you spin it around like so. And then you stop your recording and voila, you have your um, circle walking animation, whatever you want to call it. Now, what, what the question might be is... Um, finish the recording here is hey I actually still see the stick here that is stabbed through my character the thing is um, 
this is why you take take a fleck and not a uh, a sculpture because with a fleck you can scope into the fleck and then you can press press L1 and square and then inside the fleck you can actually change the opacity and if you change it to zero, uh huh. And then if you scope out and you take your animation, you play it, and voila, your character is walking in circles. Now, of course, you can edit the action recorder animation and you can, you know, change the speed of the animation. Let's take, make something uh, like, I don't know, 15%. And let's see how that works. Slowly starts to spin. You get the idea. And the, the, the reason why it didn't, doesn't spin here in the beginning is because I, I wasted a few milliseconds not spinning the circle so it starts later. Basically what you have to do is trim your action recorder and then, and then it should work. Yeah, zero, there you go. And you can, you know, play around with this. Maybe you find something else or another principle of how this works. I found this to work very well because I needed to do an animation where my character runs around in circles panicking and it actually worked very well. Yeah. I hope this helps. If you have any questions leave a comment below. Maybe I can help you out. Yeah, other than that I wish you a nice rest of your day and um, hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Bye.